one. So this um, tune today is this really great John Prine song, which most of you have probably heard, called Angel from Montgomery. Um, this came up in one of my lessons recently with um, Kristen, who's also a patron. So thank you, Kristen, for this great tune idea. And the cool thing about this one is that it's in drop C tuning, not double C tuning, drop C tuning. So what that means is you'll take the fourth string and tune that down to a C. The second string stays the same, whereas in double C tuning, you would go ahead and tune both of those to a C note. The first phrase of this song sounds like this. So for this one, I have pinky on the fifth fret first string, index third fret second, and ring finger on fifth fret second. So you're gonna start with open fourth string, pick it with your thumb, play one and two together, and you've got your fifth fret fretted and third fret fretted. You'll just do it plain old fifth fret one and two, and then play one and two again, and this time you're gonna pull off with your ring finger, so it'll be a pull off uh, fifth to third fret like this. So that together sounds like this. After that, you're going to bring your ring finger around to the third string fifth fret and pick that with your thumb. Next phrase. So that is a B flat chord, but I don't like to fret it with just one finger. I usually don't like to do bar chords like that unless you absolutely have to. Instead, use your, your uh, pinky on the third fret first, ring on third fret second, middle on third fret third. And you'll play one and two together, followed by three. And then one, three, two, one. Next phrase. So the roll stays the same through that, that whole phrase. It's just two, one, five over and over again. You'll start with first fret, second string, two, one, five. Third fret, second string, two, one, five. And then you're gonna slide from the third fret up to the fifth fret, and then just stay there, and that'll be two, one, five with a slide, and then two, one, five fretted at the fifth fret, like this. Next phrase sounds like this. So for this one, I have first fret, second string fretted and second fret, third string, and you'll play one, two, three, and then take your middle finger off the third string, pick that with your index. So it'll be thumb on third with it fretted, second fret, and then index on third, open. And then end that all with your thumb on open four. All right, this is what we have so far of this tune. identical to the one we started with, except since you ended that last phrase of that whole first line with an open four, that doubles up as the open four that starts that phrase. So that just starts with the one and two together, and then the pull off, so forth and so on. So it'll just sound like this. Next phrase is exactly like the one we did before on B flat. And then this one is new. So here's this next phrase after that. So I've got the top two strings of a C chord fretted and you'll play two, one, five. Then move up to the third fret one and two that will be with your ring finger on the first fret, or I'm sorry, the first string, middle on second string, both at the third fret and play two, one back 
to the top two strings of a C chord and play one and two together. This is what we have so far. Next phrase sounds like this. So you've ended that phrase leading up to that with the one and two at the um, first and second string of a C chord. And you're going to play, to start this next phrase, you're going to play one and two again together. And then you're following that with this little walk down on third string. So again, you bring middle finger to the second fret third string, pick that with your thumb, take it off, pick it with index, and then you're going to move your middle finger over to the second fret fourth string and pick that with your thumb, and as you do that, you're going to choke it a little bit, like that. So this is one of those chokes that goes up and then comes back down to the original note. Um, some of them, you want it to just go up. Um, and without coming back down. This one does come back down like that. And then end that with open four. So that whole new phrase, this one's a little bit tricky, sounds like this. All right, after that, um, you've got a fair amount of repetition. So what I'll do is I'll just play through everything that repeats and then um, just break down the next phrase that's different. So this is everything else. Um, this is all the repetition. It sounds like this. So it goes all the way through the B flat, and I just noticed as I'm playing through that, that the only thing that would be different is when you go to that B flat chord, um, you'll cut that roll short by the very last note, which is the first string. So when it goes one and two together, followed by three, and then one, three, two, one was what we had done before, just play three, two and leave off the one. Or one, three, two. Leave off the one at the end. And then the last phrase of the tune sounds like this. So this one you'll have first fret, second string with your index, first fret, first string with your middle finger, and you're going to play a 5-1 pinch, pull off the first string, like this. Follow that with your second string. Same little walk down we did before on third string. And then end on open four. Again, that phrase sounds like this. And now here's the whole thing nice and slow. So you can try to play along. Sounds like this.
didn't make an appearance in the lesson today. What are you doing? <laughs>